How to build a radio from cactus if the world is dead, the signals are gone, and silence is hunting you louder than the drones. The satellites burned up. The towers fell. The wires rotted in the dirt. All you've got is static and the kind of loneliness that eats you alive. You need a signal. You need a voice. Or maybe just proof something out there still breathes. Find a cactus. Doesn't matter if it's spiky, ugly, or half dead. Slice it open. The goo inside is your conductor, nature's own slimy electrolyte. Shove in a copper wire and a nail ripped from some corpse of a building. Congratulations, you just made a diode. Wrap a coil of scavenged copper wire around the cactus like you're strangling it. Add an antenna, tin foil, a bent spoon, barbed wire, whatever shines. Stick the other end into a busted speaker or the guts of an old headphone driver. Sit back and wait for the desert to scream. Here's the ugly miracle. Cactus juice plus dissimilar metals gives you a primitive detector. The coil sniffs radio waves, the antenna catches ghosts, and the speaker converts that madness into noise. Not clean noise, not stable noise, but noise that isn't silence. And in the wasteland, Silence is worse than death. If you hear static, congrats, you're not alone. If you hear voices, extra congrats, you might regret it. And if the cactus explodes in sparks, congrats twice. At least you got fireworks with your loneliness. Science doesn't care if you're desperate. It only cares if it works. And if it does, you just made a cactus sing.